Hey, Cancer, buckle up, okay? The cosmos are stirring up some serious drama this week and you do not want to miss it, okay? From fiery arguments at the beginning of the week to a creative surge towards the end of the week, the energy is off the charts, okay? I'm diving into the astrology that can make or break your week, Cancer. Plus, you know I'll be pulling some tarot cards to reveal deeper insights of what's in store just for my Cancerian family, okay? Trust me, you're gonna wanna stay until the end because this week's astrology, this week's energy is no joke okay so we want to navigate it together cancer okay welcome or welcome back to the cancerian vibe i am she the boss lady b thank you so so much for joining me i'm here every week sunday at 3 30 um 3 33 p.m eastern standard time to be exact cancer okay that was a little tongue twister but anyway um so make sure um you know i'm here every sunday at 3.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to um, make sure that my Cancer fam is informed and prepared for the upcoming week ahead. So if you have cancer anywhere in your chart or you resonate with the Cancerian energy, um, you have a place here, okay? You got family here. So definitely make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't already. Okay, if you want to connect with me one on one or want me to do a personal, personal, personal reading for you, you can tap this link right here um, to make that happen, Cancer. Check out my description box below or the comment section as well, okay? Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's hop into this astrology for the week ahead because y'all, it is piping hot, okay? Um, tap in below, leave me a little residue of your energy, Cancer. It helps me connect with you a little more, give you more resonating and um, uh, readings for you. So I love when I when you all tap in, give me a little thumbs up appreciate that okay don't think it's for nothing it's real free but it does a lot for you okay um but yeah let's get into this astrology y'all like i said we're starting out the week honey okay august 14th all right you guys mars is um in gemini it's gonna conjunct jupiter in gemini okay and what this means this is this is a kind of argument of argumentative aspect um, that holds the potential to really blow things up or out of proportion, okay? So things can seem tense on this day. So don't be thrown off when you, feel, you know, when you seem to feel a bit tense on this day, Cancer, because there's a strong possibility of like temper tantrums and arguments just, you know, in our lives, all right? A good way to manage this energy though, you know, is to make it move. So um, burning off some of that steam, some of that anger and anxiety, um, you can do that by like working out, journaling, uh, meditating, prayer, whatever you need to do, woo-saw cancer, okay? Because the energy is heightened. And not surprisingly, on the same day, August the 14th, Mercury is shifting her little self into Leo. She's still in active retrograde, all right? But just prepare for the drama and the dramatics, okay? With Mercury in this very much fiery sign. Um, you know, y'all, how they say, like, um, more, like, fights and arguments, like, more crime and stuff happens, like, during the summer or, like, when it's hot outside because everybody's, like, hot and irritable. That's what this is giving, okay? The summer heat is going to make it easy to lose your control, um, lose your cool. This is going to make it easy to pick a fight, okay? Um, but you want to be mindful. You want to be careful because courage and stupidity are very much interchangeable right now. So, you want to make sure that you choose your battles wisely okay choose them wisely make sure that if it if you're going in for the fight make sure it's worth it make sure you can win it okay because i'm just saying the energy how it's moving this week is very much a, a make or break a week okay on the 15th mars um that's still in gemini is gonna square saturn in pisces y'all okay as if the energy ain't already heightened enough, already off the charts, it's like tempers are at an all-time high today, Cancer, okay? I didn't say temperature. I said tempers because this energy is giving very much irritable, okay? Nitpicky vibes, all right? As you, it may be like really easy to kind of pick fights over the smallest little things. So it's just like, you know, like I was saying, still though, be, be careful, all right? Before you make, things bigger than they have to be um make sure you are the person that's in the right because things could get messy 
things could get embarrassing for you, Cancer, and you just don't want to, um, because things could kind of just be off with your perception or how you're viewing things, how you're seeing things. It may, like, you may be seeing it one way, but it's not really that way, so it's kind of like a oopsie. It's giving me the vibe of, like, man, real quick, I'm just gonna give y'all this story. Like, back, back in my college days, like, me and my best friend, we would have, like, house parties. We were known for our parties, and my friend, she was, like, the hype man or whatever, and I was, like, the person to make sure everything was straight and cool, because y'all know how cancers do. We take care of everything, right? And so, like, something had happened, and I think, like, an iPod or something had went missing, right? And I was, like, I immediately, I immediately went into rage, like, I'm locking the door, ain't nobody leaving till we find it, like, come out with it, and, like, I I literally had it the whole time so it was like it's like one of those things you know you doing too much you like you doing too much and you in the wrong don't let that be you cancer okay i'll let you in on a little bit of my embarrassing tea so it ain't gotta be you but that's just what i'm saying you know it's given that you know like saying oh man somebody took this from me and you had it the whole time you know what i mean so just be mindful make sure you right before you pop off that's all i'm saying okay because things could be just a little off, just a little bit, okay? Also, um, towards the end of the week, Cancer, on the 18th, we got a lot going on on the 18th, okay? Mercury, she's in Leo, still retrograde, but she's going to square Uranus and Taurus, okay? So this could definitely cause some disruption. I feel like Mercury is already causing a little disruption, but with this squaring... And with all the energy as it is like, um, it's like a boiling point. Okay. I feel like we've reached the point where stuff is starting to spill over. Okay. And this could cause a little bit of disruption, a little bit of trouble. You know, um, this may be a good day to just kind of like peace out, keep your phone on silent, kind of just do you kind of just let people have a drama without you. This, this would be a day that, you know, it could be easy to get tied up into other people's headaches and you don't want to do that cancer. Okay. Because, um, we're still in Leo season. The sun is going to conjunct this Mercury in Leo that we're talking about, too. It's a lot going on with this with mercury um but this is a very creative aspect it's going to help you to express yourself okay so while um you know you may not be feeling it with the people you can kind of like feel it with yourself and kind of express yourself this would be a great day even though we said like this would be a good day to like post on social media and just like go on about your business like not look and see what the interactions are or whatever is getting something off your chest putting some putting something artistic out there you know like putting your art out there or something like this that would be this would be a good day to do that and just kind of leave it and then maybe come back another day for you know like the results or whatever because venus um is in virgo she She's going to square Jupiter and Gemini. We were talking about that early in the week, Jupiter. Okay. So, um, this is, you know, when we talk about squares, these ain't the best things. Okay. <laughs> um, it's not a great day for making plans. Okay. It may be kind of hard to focus cancer. It may be, you know, I just feel like the, the model that you need to keep in your mind is do not sweat the small stuff. Just kind of go with the flow and let things go. Just that's that's the t for you like i told y'all cancer the the cosmos the astrological streets they heavy this week they doing a lot um the energy can feel very much intense okay i'm giving you a fair warning so that way you know you you already know you already know what's up and you know how to deal with it and you're less likely to you know be caught off guard right cancer that's why i'm here that's why i love doing what i do okay um but before we get into the cards we are gonna um dive deeper into the insight about this upcoming week but before we get into the cards y'all i had forgot to tell y'all that I wanted um, y'all to know if y'all haven't already saw, I put it in my community tab. I made like a little video and where I said I was going to start like this walking or steps challenge for those of you all that are interested, um, like a competition to, you know, like help us help motivate it's kind of selfish. I ain't even gonna lie. It's gonna help motivate me to get like more steps, but it could definitely do the same thing for you. So I'm like sharing the wealth. So I guess I ain't that selfish. You know what I mean? And there's gonna be some incentive. We're gonna talk about it. If you want more information, um, shoot me an email. Let me know down in the comment section if you're interested. If you have like an Apple Watch or something where we can share information. Yeah, just let me know. Holla at me. Call me, beat me if you wanna reach me. I think that's what I had said in the video too. So yeah. Um, we can make it happen, Cancer. All right. But yeah, let's get into these cards and see 
what else is going on for the week ahead this energy and i was i was immediately drawn to these cards these cards popped out at me and i feel like when i opened the box and i saw the uh back of the, the design i was like yeah that makes sense because it's kind of giving chaotic and i feel like that's what this this week is giving the energy is just so heightened it's giving very much those um if y'all have ever seen like maybe not so many people have seen this movie but the preacher's wife i love it and y'all know how like the boiler down at the bottom of the church was like Doo -doo, and they made it like so dramatic in the movie and then it's like boom 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 they were singing and then it finally bust like this is the <laughs> that's the energy that i'm feeling for this week cancer so just be prepared be mindful remember we are still in an active retrograde mercury retrograde so just be very mindful about your what you're saying how you're saying it how you're communicating vice versa okay but well, we're gonna look at the overall energy i'm not gonna say that overall energy for the upcoming week ahead for um cancer spirit clear and accurate messages overall energy for the upcoming upcoming week august 12th through the 18th for cancers overall energy for cancers i feel like things are moving slow too with this see well did i not tell y'all and i caught that at 11 11 and it's so funny because i was finna pull out this card because i had peeped it as as i was shuffling earlier before we had really started pulling the cards and i was like it's gonna feel like you need an ambulance after this week but what i didn't want to i don't i don't i don't want to perpetuate this like it's not a fear tactic at all cancer but I do like I rather like I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? I rather you I rather you know than you not know, okay? <laughs> but yeah, and all in all, and, and and I'm not laughing at it. I'm laughing at it to make light of it. But all in all, I feel like just with that message of like this emergency, this vehicle, it's kind of just saying um, there's gonna be a healing that's had at the end of this. So even if there is, you know, you run into some. So, the drama it's like look you are you are protected even if even if drama is trying to remember i said you know some of these transit this week could try to draw you in other people could try to draw you into their headaches their drama their kaflama no you are protected this is the number one card too so i love that it's a number one it's a beginning but i feel like protection um and it's today is Sunday the 11th so look we got the 111 showing up a beginning but I feel like definitely there's um spirit is saying look even though the energy is heightened and kind of crazy during this time you are protected you are protected against any type of misfortune any type of um bad luck any type of evilness that people may try to project upon you okay i'm actually gonna read the um and so yeah you may even want to kind of like if you have an evil eye you may want to wear it this week this may be like if you don't normally wear it or carry it around with you this may be the week to do so okay um so the additional message here <clears throat> excuse me says that in many cultures the evil eye is a symbol of protection against misfortune that others may wish upon you okay it deflects envy brings good luck and protects you from any ill will that could otherwise have a negative effect on your well-being this card is a sign of not only protection but empowerment when you take the steps to protect yourself mentally physically and spiritually there is no reason to fear that's what remember i said i'm not trying to create fear okay fear is a a, a thing that we do not want to connect with okay this can also speak to being in the public eye and or receiving increased in, um, attention indicating there is a need to be aware of your surrounding energy especially um i feel like that's been a, a theme for someone in my vibe tribe that you are putting yourself more out there into the public maybe even there's like a public speaking kind of situation happening or where you are like sharing your um vision or your beliefs or whatever this may even just be an increased uh 
like presence on social media or whatever. You want to be very, very mindful during this time about what you're saying, how you're saying it, all that. Okay, Cancer? You may see the evil eye show up in many ways, such as an emoji, a charm, or a sticker on laptops as illustrated. It is also confirmation that you are and will be protected. The aloe vera plant illustrated alongside the evil eye sticker further emphasizes spiritual representation of protection and good luck. Okay? The beauty of this thing is that you can easily incorporate it into your life anywhere you feel it nece necessary, okay? Um, but I definitely just feel like Spirit is trying to let you know, like, look, they're gonna be they're gonna be jealous eyes on you. I feel like I feel like other people around you, and this could be a part of your transformation, your elevation. Other people may not like it. You know, the enemy is gonna use people too. It may be people close to you, it may be your friends, family, lovers, who knows? Who knows? You don't have to be afraid because you are protected, but you just need to be prepared to to accept the real of what it is. Um, you know, get yourself away from negative energy. If the vibes are off, the, the energy is negative, protect yourself. Like, this is giving very much just protect yourself all week, okay? Do what you got to do to protect yourself, cancer, because the energy, like I told y'all, is... It is giving drama, okay? It is giving drama. And there could be some drama around something that's owed to you or, like, that's due to you. That's what I'm getting the vibe of, too. But whatever it is, whatever comes up of it, um, the underlying energy being this healing, and I do feel like it's going to be other people. Like, other people are involved because medical staff, there are other people involved. But I feel like it's going to be very much healing for you in some way or capacity let's see what the challenge is for the week ahead that'll give us more insight what's the challenge cancer must overcome this week challenge for cancer to face so surrender being like being like you water surrender going with the flow okay going with the flow of the energy because yeah when i'm telling you it's like you can't go up and touch and power lines like the, the energy is surging through this situation cancer through this week and i feel like spirit is saying you know to be yourself you know you are a water sign and to kind of go with the flow surrender to what's happening even if even if you're being protected like i said it could be from someone that you know someone that you love that you care about someone that you didn't quote unquote see it coming from cancer but you just have to surrender and know that everything is happening for your best benefit okay water is a very versatile element okay it goes with the flow it takes up it takes the shape of whatever container it is in it goes with the flow of the current like you are a water sign cancer so if anybody you know knows how to surrender it's you it knows how to go with the flow it's you okay so this can um this you allow things to kind of happen organically or this is giving very much don't try to force anything don't try to control anything cancer i feel like there are a lot of heightened emotions with this energy too and that could be challenging because you know water fluctuates it's moving it's going with the tide emotions okay right allow the feelings to come and go you know allow yourself to go with the flow and take care of yourself at the very same time remember you still have to protect yourself at the very same time all right I feel like, too, this is like feminine energy cancer. That is, again, just confirming the healing that's going to happen in this situation, okay? Um, I feel like, too, you know, water is intuition. So you're going to have to lean into your intuition to face these challenges. So trusting your intuition to allow you to go with the flow cancer, Um this may be a good week to like drink a lot of water or drink, you know, be intentional about your drinking water this week, Cancer. Um, I'm like instantly kind of reminded of that Instagram. I feel like it was like an Instagram or TikTok thing where it's like people were talking into their water or something. Yeah, you may want to like do that. Like you may have laughed at that, but you may want to do that, Cancer, because it's like really time for you to to release control and let the current pull you you know and temptation is gonna want you is temptation for for yourself is gonna make you want to kind of try to control this energy but you know you don't do that with your electricity you just flip on your your light at home right 
excuse me, you don't go out and touch these power lines and try to get them to do what you want to do. You just flip on your light at home. And so that's what I feel like um, Spirit is saying, um, you know, pay it Stay in your stay in your lane. You know what I mean? <laughs> stay in your lane. I think I'm actually going to switch to the tarot deck and see what advice or what actions Cancer needs to focus on taking this week for August 12th through 18th. What does Cancer need to know? What does Cancer need to know, do, understand? Okay, so look, we got the High Priestess that um, wanted to come out on top of this. The Ace of Swords came out with it. And it's funny because I'm seeing that butterfly again in this Ace of Swords. But with the High Priestess coming out on top, Cancer, I definitely feel like, look, um, this is the... <laughs> I feel like, look, <laughs> Spirit is definitely saying Wu saw this week, okay? And it being a major arcana um, card, this is a major deal, okay? This is the time to meditate and turn inward, reflect. This Ace of Swords tried to come out with it, and I feel like this is definitely just confirmation to let you know of your communications, Cancer. The Ace of Swords can be very, like, you know... It's like a double-edged sword kind of feeling when it comes to communication. So you have to be very careful. And I feel like the things that you say um, or the things that you think could definitely be creating... Um, creating this kind of new wave of energy to come past you, right? I feel like this is definitely a week too where you're going to um, develop your intuitive gifts more. You're going to be more, more so kind of in tune with yourself, Cancer you know, being a water sign. Um, but the Ace of Swords definitely speaks to communicating clearly. So even with any type of argument or drama that may come up this week, Cancer, you need to ensure that you are communicating clearly, asserting yourself effectively. Um, this Awakening card is here at the bottom of the deck, this energy, underlying energy. And I feel like, look, it's kind of like pause and think before you speak that's what i am hearing like think before you speak it's a very much a time i feel like this is really a week of reflection too like there's an emphasis on reflection so not a lot of action remember this water is feminine energy feminine energy receives kind of goes with the flow it's not about you know the actions that you take i feel like this is this is a week about getting in tune with yourself getting in tune with your truths refining your um refining your communication right learning how to this may be a word for me like uh communicate like concisely just to the point no somebody may need to hear this too no is a complete sentence okay so you ain't gotta go dressing up the no but yeah i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave that ace of swords out let's see what the outcome is I feel like definitely balance, okay? The high priestess is showing like balance. And see, there's that water again. So I'm definitely seeing a, a heightened kind of, man, man, cancer. You are like, <laughs> you are so spiritually in tune, so spiritually inclined this week. That's why you're being attacked. It's like, you may feel attacked. Like this is um, like spiritual warfare in a sense because, that's what's happening like yeah it's almost like spirit because i'm seeing this apple like this is a, a teaching moment for you cancer where you're you're being taught to trust yourself how to communicate with yourself how to communicate with your spirit team too so you know developing your wisdom around um these insights what's the outcome for the and I feel like, too, you know, just with the water being in the um, the challenge spot, it's like, you know, don't make don't make decisions off emotion. Like it's giving, you know, it's giving impulse. Don't make impulsive decisions or like impulsive like uh, replies to emails or even just on the phone or whatever. It's like take a minute to breathe and kind of think and make sure that you are seeing and hearing things correctly. Clear, um, oop, oop, okay, because look, the Seven of Swords wanted to come out with that too. 
So I do feel like you want to make sure, because the seven swords can speak of embarrassment too. That's what I'm saying. You want to make sure everything is as it seems to cancer. Okay, but you also do want to be aware of other people's actions. You want to be aware of other people's energy. If it feels off, if you come around another person, you think about a person and things start to feel off, that's an indication. That's your in that's your intuition speaking to you, okay? Um and I feel like I don't know why I'm not I'm not I am not uh claiming this for anyone, but I do feel like either someone has has um experience something being stolen from them recently or you could experience like this could be a part of the drama like something was taken from you and it doesn't necessarily just have to be like a physical thing it could be you know however it resonates for you because i'm just feeling like yeah with that seven of swords that tried to slide out here all sneakily and then all these swords are showing up so it's giving air energy a lot of thinking okay intellect moving kind of energy um and the swords in the water it's like it's you know opposite kind of vibes right but you know make sure that you're being truthful and honest with yourself and with others this week and you can't go wrong we'll see what's the outcome of this upcoming week okay what's the outcome of this upcoming week for cancers I feel like there may be some shakeups in people's partnerships in good ways. Well, all of all of it turns out good, but you know, yeah. And look, as I say that, the tower card is showing up. Ego is here. Um, so yeah, I feel like there is going to be kind of some shakeup in partnerships and romantic partnerships, friendships, relationships, siblings, mother, daughter, whatever. Um, I feel like there is going to be some type of, and it's for it's for the benefit. It's like supposed to be a catalyst to heal or to separate. Okay, but let's get a final. What's the potential outcome for the week ahead for cancer? Potential outcome for the week ahead for cancer. Yeah, and I just saw the king of swords. So I don't know if you got an air sign in your life, cancer. Um, I would just, you know, I would keep an eye on what they got going on right now. Um, the Hermit is showing up here at the bottom of the deck. And this is the energy, the vibe that I'm feeling. You know, we're moving into Virgo season two. But just um, a heavy time of like personal reflection, meditation. If you are not meditating, Cancer, this will be the week to do it. Okay. Um, you know, to make sure that you are in some type of space of meaningful solitude. Okay. So that you're able to kind of discover and really get in tune with yourself. I feel like, you know, and the fact that all these major arcana cards are showing up for you cancer this lets you know that the the energy is major this is um about a major major events um in your life okay but the awakening showed up um here as the outcome of the week and i feel like again like i said this week is just a time for you to kind of pause it's kind of like pause for cause okay so don't be alarmed if things don't feel like they're moving up ahead as normal it does feel as though there's a temporary pause in the matrix a little bit okay um spirit is wanting you to see people for who they really are um the color blue is sticking out to me too i don't know this may be your favorite color this may be a person's favorite color you may see this color however i don't know definitely the color blue is sticking out cancer but like i said yeah take you whatever your good luck charm is um if it is if you do have some type of evil eye um or whatever you feel like is your good luck charm or a crystal or whatever take it around with you this week this would be the very um the a very good week to do so okay but I feel like, yeah, you're going to be after after the end of this week, you're going to kind of be able to see things from a different perspective, especially in regards to your relationships. I'm going to clarify this surrender, this water. Clarify surrender. See, and it's the chariot cancer. So look, and the two of pencils, two of pencils, two of pentacles is here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, but I feel like this two of pentacles is here kind of um, because there's a going back and forth. I do feel like there's a decision that needs to be made. And remember, like I said, too, you do need to kind of have that moment of um, reflection. Okay, so I'm picking up on that energy. But the chariot showing up here, I feel like, again, just kind of um, confirming that cancer, you are the you are 
a water sign you are the chariot and it's kind of like it's almost kind of like be a passenger in the car with spirit you know what surrender to where spirit is taking you i feel like to let you know too that you are um extremely protected even though you may feel vulnerable even though you may feel like you're not covered like you're not technically in a car in this um in this car you're on like a motorcycle and you're like a rebel <laughs> you're still protected but the fact that um i used this deck and the chariot came out and she is kind of like the little rebel kind of you know dude with a two vibe i just feel like that's just another indication cancer that the energy could be very very funky you know it could be very much wishy-washy too there's um that back and forth with the two of pentacles so just you know Stay in tune. I feel like that's the message. Stay in tune with yourself. Okay. Um, it was let me see. I'm just gonna pull one card for the week ahead for cancer from this um this deck just because it had um popped out to me too but yeah here's that um that energy of balance okay so we had have confidence that came out and be the real you was here too i'm seeing that butterfly again so i feel like look spirit is saying be confident enough to be yourself your rebel self your you know your out of the box self go with the flow in that i feel like that's where your awakening is happening where you're kind of moving into this real um into this more authentic kind of version of yourself and that's where the communication is going to have to take place it's like you're communicating the real you your uniqueness there is something about your uniqueness that spirit is wanting you to kind of like dive into okay i feel like that's where you're going to find peace that's where you're going to find tranquility happiness cancer being um being the real you this authenticity okay there's going to be freedom in that and know that um spirit is protecting you like um that's where i'm seeing this have confidence too it's like have confidence that you're protected you know like you can even in it's like um in this image it's like um uh, mountains or whatever behind her mountains are notorious um symbols for challenges but it's like you know she has a smile on her face she's on this tightrope she could you know one wrong step and she get plummet to her death but she has confidence she knows that her angels are protecting her like she's not even worried about the death at the bottom of it you know what i mean and so this is the energy that i feel like the strength the courage that you want to adopt this week cancer okay um yeah because the energy was so because the energy is so interesting and that's so funny because the rebel came out here with this chariot i had picked up this deck it's my rebel it's the rebel deck the oracle with attitude if you're sensitive you can go ahead and click off because it may have a nice little interesting message for you but i'm just going like yeah i was drawn to pick it up i'm just going to see what message comes out for cancer for the week ahead like I said, if you're sensitive, go ahead and click off because it may be a curse word or something. And I don't want you reading me in my comments, honey, okay? But look, so we got a detox showing up, all right? And I feel like you're going to have to detox from some people, all right? Um, but drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, okay? Yeah, unfriend that asshole and thaw, um, throw some shit out, okay? So there may be some things that you need to get rid of. I feel like you may be holding on to a physical item that is holding that is harboring energy that may be negatively affecting um could negatively affect you okay definitely getting the vibe though of getting rid of someone it's like somebody has to go okay and and i feel like you're waking up to that like there's there's gonna be either an argument that lets you know this person is no longer meant for me or this argument while it still has to happen it's gonna bring you all closer together in a different or a better way right let's pull one more message for cancer uh oh that was just like too many um but i like that okay some some good issues about to happen um excuse me Final message for cancer. 
So stop obsessing, Cancer. We got the red cards that came out here. It says you are not the fucking center of the universe. You're not the sun, okay? Um, so stop obsessing. But I feel like this obsessing, like I'm getting this message more so like with your decision making. Don't nitpick. Remember we talked about how the energy, the astrology of this week could have you like picking at the littlest thing, making something, making a mountain out of a molehill. It's like that's what I'm seeing you know, detox those negative thoughts or those, you know, obsessive thoughts, right? But yeah, and I feel like cancer, you might experience somebody being shady. I don't know, for some reason, spirit told me to pick up this. No, no wonder we got the eight. Um, we just had the Lionsgate portal too. 88 protection. All right. So no matter what cancer, no matter what, know that you're protected okay but i do feel like there's going to be um a little bit of temptation for you this week or with others around you with the heightened energy let's just see what's relevant for the week ahead what comes out for cancer so we got an earth sign that's meant to be excuse me promotion or raise and creativity here at the bottom of the deck all right so I definitely, like I said, we're going to have that creative surge towards the end of the week, Cancer. So definitely lean into that. Express yourself creatively. I feel like um, for some of you with this promotion I raised, I feel like there's something that still has to be um, cause I feel like for some reason, I feel like this is already in your space or energy, but there's something that has to be reviewed. Okay. Um, but I feel like this is meant to be right. I feel like also this meant to be energy is more so confirming that the things that happen this week are meant like they are, you know, and they are all going to work for your good, no matter how you feel about them in the moment initially. Okay. Things are meant to be. All right. An earth sign is interesting popping up here. <clears throat> you can have some type of connection with an earth sign, have earth, um, earth sign uh, in your chart, in your big three. But I feel like, you know, definitely watch out for the earth signs or the, because, yeah, we have the Virgo energy showed up. Them earth signs or them air signs could be a point of contention for you this week. So just be mindful about any type of interactions with them. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Cancer, this is going to be a week. Definitely make sure y'all let me know how um, you're feeling this week. Come back throughout the week and let me know what's going on. Because yeah, this one, this one was interesting, y'all. But I'm going to leave it right here. I really do hope that it resonates for someone and you found it helpful. If I can be of any future assistance, definitely reach out to me. Um, BossLadyBTarot.com, okay? If you want a personal reading or a one-on-one -on -one session. But anywho, in the meantime, in between time, until next time. Love you.